What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be diving back into Death Trash, a very gutter punk post-apocalyptic RPG where nothing makes sense, everything is disgusting, and puking is a special ability. Uh, the creature you see on screen right now is the Flesh Kraken. He just wants a friend. That's an entire quest narrative storyline of this game, so I can't express enough that this is not your normal kind of rusty, dusty, but ultimately diesel punk understandable post-apocalypse game. This one's a weirdy. Uh, the last couple times we've covered it, the game has been demos, basically, like pre-release demos. At this point, the game's been in early access for about a year, and so I figured I'd dive back on in today and play for about 25-30 minutes and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this episode you wanted to get the early access for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. Aside from that, there will also be links down there for Discord and my Twitch stream in case you wanted to hang out there too. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's dive on in. We've got limited time to play around with this title, but I do think that it's a really, really good game. We'll go ahead and hit continue. Uh, in the case of this game this time around, since we've played the intro before in previous kind of like demo looks, I decided to give you a character that's a little bit further on into the game. Not that much further, but like 45 minutes to an hour further on into the game. Uh, so this is my character right here. We control with W, A, S, and D. We can walk around the map. This is an open world game. You're free to tackle challenges, quests, and things like that however you want to do them. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's some loot up here. We'll go ahead and grab some of these goodies. Looks like there's some trash. Trash is actually like, ow, dude, I got stabbed. Okay, I didn't even realize that those weird agave looking plants could like stab you. Fair enough, I learned a new thing today. Don't get stabbed by the, uh, don't get stabbed by the post-apocalyptic mutated aloe vera. As of right now, I've got a couple of different quests to play around with. I've went to the first town and kind of gathered up a number of things to get underway with. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish a lot of them. Uh, your character is very, very weak in this game when you first start out. This is not an RPG where the game is ultimately going to be balanced around you being level 1, and there's going to be kind of like this slow slope that moves upwards on the difficulty. No, this game throws you into the thick of it straight from the beginning. Everybody is better armed than you. Everybody is faster than you. Everybody is stronger than you. It's got a little bit of a Kenshi vibe at the beginning of the game, I guess. Uh, it, it's definitely got a little bit of bite and sting to it. So with the couple of quests that I have here on the map, uh, basically I've got a quest that will, well, I don't have anything at the Kraken Temple. The Red Forest, I have to go get an herb from down there because there's a guy in town who has a puking contest and apparently the herb makes him puke and he wants to win. I need like an AI core from up here in this area. However, the enemies do seem too tough to handle for right now. And so I actually don't know exactly what I want to do in inside the confines of the game world. I suppose I should probably go back to town and we'll see if we can resupply and maybe get some bullets and like some other things that we can basically use in order to like fight with our enemies because melee definitely does not seem to be working out for me right now. I'll tell you this, you kind of want to be away from the enemies if you can help it. In my crafting menu, I don't really have any crafting right now. I would like to find things that I can make. I don't know if I can like do that from over here. I've got like loads of stuff that says it's a crafting resource, but I don't think that the game uses a system. So like in other games, basically you like research stuff and like look at it and it will tell you how that works. I don't think that's how it works here. I think you actually have to find like resources and things around in order to basically learn how to do stuff. There is a shop down this way, but the bullets are like prohibitively expensive from the shop. So I don't know if I can even get ammo from over here. A new, actually, new armor would be pretty rad too. I'd actually be totally okay with that. It looks like we've got a recipe for rifle bullets, but it's going to cost us about 120 bucks to get after. I may be able to get that money together. I do have a knife. That's going to be 10 bucks right there. I have a shotgun and I have a rifle. I also have some fire opals and things rattling around. We might be able to use some of this in order to get moving. But yeah, as it stands right now, I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to get enough money together to make some of this stuff work. So it might be a good idea to sell off some of the hex weed, and it might be a decent idea to sell off like some of the zircons and stuff just until we get ourselves into a place where we can build bullets, basically. Uh, it looks like medical ingredients actually sell for a decent amount, too. I don't know if I want to sell that many. 
Yeah, let's just like sell enough to get us up to the point where I can buy the rifle bullets recipe. And now that I have the rifle bullets recipe, maybe we can make our own lines and symbols of some kind. Doesn't make sense. I should probably learn how to read. Uh, the merchant at Taurus told me something about a guy who went west, if I remember correctly. Oh, so we're illiterate as well. Okay, I was unaware of the fact that my character was illiterate, so learning to read would probably be a strong place to begin, maybe. Uh, there is kind of an underground area up and underneath this town, so like there's hatches and things that go up and underneath the town. There may be some stuff down there that I might be able to use. Uh, so maybe we go down to the dungeon that's underneath town and give that a go. Or maybe I follow the prompts and go to the west and see if I can find whoever that guy is that can teach me the mystical power of rune bending, a.k.a. like reading and stuff. I don't know. Uh, there is storage space right there. We can use this house to basically do things if we need to. I don't know. I think there were some spiders and stuff down here, but I don't know how tough they are. We can maybe look into that. Let me see if I can find those spiders again. I think they're in this little cave complex down here. To the bottom right. I don't have any ammo though, so like with the giant dog sized spiders, we're gonna have to be fighting them while we're in this area with our bare hands, which is a little bit terrifying. I don't love it. I can't chop those right there. How tough are these spiders down here? I'm gonna save my game before. Oh, they've seen me. Not great. Could be going better. Alright, uh, maybe slash you? Actually, they don't seem that tough. Well, okay, all my health is gone, so they do seem a little bit tough. Let me see if I can eat some... Oh, I can't eat while there's enemies around. That's why I saved. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, my shotgun doesn't hurt him at all either. God, this is just a mess, isn't it? Okay, so they like attack and then they run away. I think I can get one solid poke off. I think if I go for like the double hit, I'm gonna regret it. Because it seems like they get a little bit of, like, stun resistance. Like, they don't seem that shocked when I hit them with a sword. I usually prefer that my enemies feel very, very shocked when I hit them with a sword. But it's not really going that way. Alright, we're going to kill this guy on the right and everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Close the gap. You won't. Close the gap. Do it, my bro. Do it. Close that gap, son. All right, spider's down, and it looks like we got some metal off the spider. He's a spider with a fond appreciation for metal. Gotcha. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. Eating food is good. However, you have to be careful when you eat, like, random meat that you found on the ground. You get infected, and your infection, you can only get rid of it by puking. And so it becomes one of those things to maybe consider. Another spider down. All right. Got a, oh, we dropped med ingredients. Those are worth a bunch. All right, all right. I can take this. Uh, let's continue looking around. Is that pretty much all that's down here? You can hold down the control key, and the control key will show you anything that's interactable, kind of Baldur's Gate style, so that you don't miss out on any loot nodes or anything else like that. However, this area seems fairly tapped out. Let me scan around the complex a little bit and see if we can find anything. There is a lady down there, but I don't necessarily want to be robbing strangers this early on into the game. I tend to play the good guy in a lot of RPGs. I don't know why, but being a bad guy... Like, I guess I'm just too empathetic, man. When I play the bad guy, I feel guilty for the things that I do to characters that aren't even real inside a video game. It makes me feel guilty. Who are you? A visitor. What are you doing here? Examining the flesh, the machines, and finding out about our place among them. But my current studies are mostly focused on the flesh. I wonder, what's your perception of all the forms of meat around us? I don't know, free food? I guess it is. My general observation would be that it's unusual and we cannot discern where it comes from. Its origin is what I'm concerned about and its connection to the infections and mutations. I was cast out from a habitat because I'm contaminated. Is that related? Interesting. There are no visible signs of any illness. How do you feel? Pretty normal most of the time. So occasionally sickness overcomes me and I have to vomit. All right, those could be the first signs of your metabolism changing. Anything else? Hmm, can you examine me? Yes, I'd be willing to. This is quite interesting for me too, you know. You would be the first case I study that's still in a very premature state. Very exciting. Premature, so you have an idea what this leads to? No, I don't know at this point. A mutation, perhaps. Is there a cure? 
I don't think so. But first things first, I'm not totally equipped to perform human cell study. I'm gonna need a medical scanner and octagon fluid. Maybe you can get a scanner from the doctor here in Taurus. Tell him it's for me, Mortis. But there's no octagon fluid around here. You're gonna have to search one of the old facilities to the north. Last but not least, it would be helpful if you got me some mutant brain tissue. Okay, I'll take a look. Plus, I'm gonna loot all this meat over here because, like, what is that? The flesh nexus? Answer? You try to reach out, but no one reacts. Apparently, I don't speak flesh nexus. Ripperoonies. Uh, sorry, little buddy. I don't want to kill you, but I'm out of healing meat. And so I need a little bit of healing meat for the road. We can also tame these guys and they become our pet, but, like, I haven't been doing it because they get, like, a free hit on you. All right? Uh, we can actually teleport from here, but I'm not going to do that right now. There are fast travel nodes around. Ooh, what is this over here? Hold on. What is that? We got some trash. Okay, I'll take it. Trash is better than nothing. Inside of here, we need a lockpick in order to get into there, and we can't interact with the bed or sleep or anything else like that. Hold on. There we go. I got to clear my infection with my puke button. That's right. This game comes equipped with a puke button. If you notice at the top left, there's little green pips. Every single time I eat something rotten, it fills up the little green pips, and you got to vomit them out every now and again. Otherwise, you can't reheal yourself. Well, we got ourselves something to operate off of. We kind of know what we're doing right now. However, I am woefully unequipped for the road. We have no bullets. We have no anything, really. So let's go back to the Festering Gorge and see if maybe there's any easy enemies I can knock out over here to level up a little bit. And then also maybe steal their ammunition. That's what I would prefer to do anyways. I think there are still a few uncleared areas that I haven't been just yet. And so I'd like to dip on into there. This guy will give me a little bit of food. A little bit of XP, too. That's what the plus four was right there. There's two bullets on this side. I'm going to go ahead and take them. She's got a gun. So we're going to have to... Oh, my God. There's two of them with guns. And now I've been shot in the face. Rip. I was hoping I could run away from them fast enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and zone out real quick and see if they reset. If they don't reset, this is going to suck for me. They kind of reset. I think I can... Hold on. Let me get a meat in me. There we go. And then we'll bait that one right there. Wow, she's got range, dude. Good lord. Oh, they both aggroed. Okay, so I gotta, like, kite them away because I just can't handle these guys right now. All right, so having kited to the end of the zone and basically, like, gotten rid of their aggro chain, we're all right now. Now we can get back to adventuring and, like, murdering things and getting little baby boy XP around here somewhere. I do remember the earlier demos being a lot easier, and so I feel like they really, really cranked up the difficulty in this build. Like, I've been having quite a hard time getting started. Like, everything seems to hit me for, like, 40% of my health. Like, I've been just kind of surviving on the periphery by picking up trash and just kind of, like, being the neighborhood garbage collector, but it has not worked out well. There we go. Get that guy. All right. Grab that meat right there. Can I tame this dude? Come on, tame. Yeah, there we go. Apparently, I have a flesh worm now. Do I just deploy him? Well, I mean, the flesh worm, it worked as a distraction, and now I have ammunition, so that's good. I've got bullets for once in my life. I almost never have bullets. Uh, there's another creature down here that I think I'm going to have to deal with. We'll go ahead. Oh, I hit him for like half of his HP. Ow, he hits me for like half of my HP, too. Okay, so we are, we are equal in the halfening of the HP. I need to... There we go. I need to throw up all my infection real fast. We got a little bit more herbs over here. I saw some kind of flesh cave up there, and I am curious about what might be inside of it. But I haven't gone yet. I don't know if these little guys actually give you XP or anything. Like, are they even worth whacking? There is a little bit of zircon right there. I'll take that. What else do we have going on around here? Where have I been? That's my other question. I haven't been over here. Let's go look off to this left-hand side. Okay, a few more worms. A little bit more scrap and medical stuff. 
kind of curious if taming those guys. I mean, it does give me XP when I tame them. So I can use them as a bit of a decoy that I can throw out into combat to maybe give me an opening and get, like, some melee chops off. Might be worth it. There we Cutie? That's not really what I would use. That, that, that's not the terminology I would use towards something called a flesh worm. But, you know, oh, God, what's going to be inside of here? Who even knows? Uh-huh, yeah, more disembodied organs that are just mysteriously growing out of the walls. Apparently, I can walk across the blood pond, too. Are you going to try to hurt me? Everything always tries to hurt me, man. Okay, all right, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm going to throw out a flesh worm and maybe my pet flesh worm. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, down he goes. And we got ourselves a pistol, and we got ourselves some pistol bullets. Good job, Flesh Worm. You drew, you, you, you drew him off of me for long enough, my friend. That's all that I needed from you. you. You have stood your watch. You have served your master nobly. Ooh, crafting knowledge. Nice. What does this do? Okay, so crafting knowledge. This book contains the blueprint for something called a blip, as well as detailed instructions on how to read and use blueprints in general. Memorizing the contents of this book will allow you to- Oh, nice! I'm literate! Yay! We found the guy, and he's dead. He's dead, dead, dead. So apparently I can salvage all this stuff now. We should probably go ahead and do that. I need to make ammo. Five trash, five metal gives you six bullets. How much do I have? Well, I have more than enough, so that's good. I should probably put in some of these implants, too. Now, these implants allow you to go invisible, and they allow you to, like, cast magic spells and stuff. Apparently, that's part of the mutation that's taking place in this game world. I can't explain it much further than that because it hasn't been explained to me. Oh, thank God, dude. Actual bullets. Okay. All right. Life's going to get easier from here. It's not going to be that bad. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to let that worm live because he served me nobly. And I just, I feel like betr a wonder shroom. Oh, I wonder, wonder, ooh, I wonder, ooh. What's in a wonder shroom? All right. There's got to be more loot around here. Uh, we can select our shock ability right here if we want to. Like so. And then we can just cast it. It's like a little lightning spell. Our mana is basically our illness. The more that we cast, the worst we're going to feel. How good is that, though? Directional attack, usage, one infection. I don't know how much damage it does, but I don't want to betray the worm to find out. It's going to make me feel like a bad person. However, it might give us like an easily usable ranged attack that we can kind of put up against the enemy. I didn't expect the bad guys to be so... I, I didn't expect the dude for that quest to the west to become literate. Uh, to be over here, and so that actually worked out pretty well. We're kind of like exceeding my expectations right now. Where else have we not been around here? To the bottom right? All right, I'm going to go over there, and it looks like there's something also up here. Oh, that's the cave entrance. Okay. Uh, there is a guy down here. I don't know if he's, like, deadly or not. Apparently, it does 10 damage. That's not bad. 10 damage isn't too terrible for, like, a little spammable attack. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, cool. I wish you could hotkey these on like one, two, three, so on and so forth, so you could whip them out a little bit faster. But, you know, I guess that's life. You kind of got to pick and choose what preparation you have on you. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, he is an enraged gunman, apparently. There we go. We dropped the enraged gunman. A few more rifle bullets and another old rifle. I'm going to take this stuff back to town and sell it to see if I can get some cash money cheddar stacks moving. And then we'll continue with our post-apocalyptic adventures. Okay, so we've got all these extra guns. So I'm okay with selling duplicates. Apparently they are not that valuable though. I personally had kind of thought that like guns in the post-apocalyptic or in the post-apocalypse would be worth a lot of money. But I think I was wrong. We did find some household wares that are worth $2. Hooray for me. 
Hooray for me and my $2 acquisition. You do have equipment in this game. You've got a melee weapon. You've got a ranged weapon. You've got a headpiece. You've got a chest piece. And you've got a trinket. I haven't found a trinket yet, so I don't know if the trinkets are going to be any good. Uh, but, you know, maybe. I've got, like, some... Can I make, like, some more... So that does 11 damage. That does 8, but it costs a lot more ammo. Okay. Can I craft up some more right now? Do I have enough stuff? Ooh, I can make a lockpick. That might be a nice thing to do. Yeah, make me a couple lockpicks. Sure. I'm going to go down into the basement, and I'm going to see what was inside some of those lockers down there. They might actually have some sweet gear inside of them that may help us, like, get a come up. All right, locker, what you got for me? Oh, nice, dude. We got, like, a note over here that's got some lore. We got some metal. We got some energy cells. Yeah, I would say that lockpicking appears to be worth it. So keep lockpicks on you, especially if you've got the, me the mechanics to, like, manufacture them. I don't think there was anything else left down here to loot. So I think we need to go kind of to, like... We, we need to go to the Red Forest, and I think we're going to have to help that guy out with his uh, with his puking contest that he's gotten himself into. I personally would probably question what what choices in my life led me to be an entrant or an entry in, in a puking contest, but, like, maybe that's just me. That guy looks big and scary. I wonder what he's going to do. There we go. So I've got myself another flesh worm now, too. A little bit of XP. My guess is you can probably, like, farm XP just by, like, training them over and over and over again at the risk of getting smacked, I guess. I mean, 4 XP is 4 XP. Did I level up or anything? I've got, like, another 100 XP to go till I level up. There's some wood over here. I'm going to F5 save my game. I love it so much that this game lets me quick save by pressing F5. It's the best. So are you guys just, like, friends with each other down here? You guys are just, like, homies? I don't really hang out with flesh monsters. Like, I'm not trying to be judgmental or anything. Oh god, I'm out of bullets. That's not great. That could be better. I may have to fall back on ye old force lightning in order to zap these dudes into submission. Okay, he's down. Good. Force lightning, you got him. There we go, dude. We just got to be careful about our force lightning usage. That's the secret. Uh, I need to throw up, like, right now. There we go. We'll throw up my puke real fast. We'll grab the sword. He's got some trash on him. This guy's got some brains, which are a crafting material. I will probably... Yeah, just eat some meat real quick. I used up all my pistol bullets on that fight. That was probably a mistake. But the shock ability is actually seems to be fairly utilitarian. Now that I know it gives me a stun, I think that's going to help out in combat a little bit. That feels like it might be the missing piece for why combat was going really, really poor for me. Uh, there's the glibber. That's the thing the guy needed for his quest. So I'll go ahead and grab these. Are they, like, a resource? Is that what it is? Oh, it's a crafting resource, independent of the quest. All right. Well, I got the quest item, and we won a fight that actually I probably shouldn't have won. Let's see what other loot is on the map right now. There's a little bit of metal right there. There's a couple of, like, normal... These guys aren't that bad. I can kill these guys. These guys aren't really a challenge. Oh, no, I missed. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back! There we go. Oh, they can resist the stun, though. That's good to know. And there was nothing inside of there. I don't know why. Normally, I don't think it lets me loot something that's empty again. We do have a couple of worms over here, and we've got a hexen finger that we can pick up. I will grab that. Uh, is that one of the scary guys right there that does, like, that charge attack thing? I don't think he is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We'll just zap him to death real fast. Cool. Uh, I gotta puke again. Blair. There we go. Just kind of vent out all my nastiness. Uh, there's a bunch of food down here, though. Take that, just in case I need to heal up later. Do you want to be my friend? Nope, he doesn't want to be my friend. 
That's okay, because he can be my dinner now that he's refused to be my friend. Yay! I got another flesh worm. I wonder if I can sell him, dude. Nice, dude. I'm making all kinds of friends out here. And look at that. We're almost leveled up, dude. Things are going well in the Splat Kingdom. Things are just looking absolutely gorgeous right now. They're going very, very, very extremely well. A little bit more loot right there. Okay, okay. And we got another bandito down here, and we got one of those scary guys over here, too. I'm going to open on him. There we go. We got him, and we hit level three. Man, that was a close one, though. Dude, that stun lock is like vital. Like, you got to get that thing off. All right, so we'll eat a little bit of that. We'll go over and we'll throw up real fast to get that out of our system. All right. We're okay. Things are going all right, and we've leveled up. So let's do another level up here. Uh, I've got some points in some things. Occultism. So this allows me to endure higher stages. I wonder if it makes my... I kind of wonder if it makes my shock spell hit harder, but for right now, I'm going to take some some hardiness because I just don't feel like I have very much HP. And then skills-wise, I've already got large firearms going pretty well. Maybe I'll get a little bit better with swords. It doesn't feel like it makes me swing faster, and it looks like the damage stays the same on the weapon. So I'm guessing that maybe it just allows me to use more advanced weapons effectively. Uh, these guys over here, I don't know if I can handle them. They do have guns, and guns are scary. Go ahead and get you real fast, and then get away from your pistolero buddy over here. Wait for my cool... Oh, you can shoot through the tree. Okay, that's unfortunate. There we go. Perfect. Drop another one. A few more rifle bullets right there. I'm trying to be really careful about my ammo because it's hard to, like, it's hard to restock. It's not easy to come by ammo. Like, you really got to treat it like the precious resource that it is and try to find other ways to vanquish enemies. The only place we haven't been is over in the top right corner over here, and then there's a cave on the left. I do want to take that guy's glibber back to him and see what the quest, the quest reward is going to look like. You have a gun. Looks like it's a shotgun, though. Oh, no, he's got, like, a pistol. Okay. Oh, I missed my go. It's okay. He's going to have to reload, and we can drop him right there. Good. And we got some more mechanics and stuff, too. Oh, I'm kind of infected right now. Bleak. Casting too much force lightning. It's having a negative effect on me. If you ever wondered how all the Sith ended up with, like, a really, really bad case of jaundice, this is it right here, man. Every time I cast a force spell, I'm just like... I can heal I can feel my liver just withering every single time I do it. You sir, I'm going to murder. Not because you did anything wrong, but because I need to keep myself stocked up on restoratives basically. I need to make sure that I have lots and lots of mutant steaks that I can shove down my gob so that I can feel better. There's a big shiny tree over here, but I don't know what it does. What does this do? I didn't really want to puke again, but okay. I thought maybe if I struck that thing with lightning, maybe something would happen. Can't use anything from this stuff. Okay. Well, let's go check out this cave over here, and we'll cut the video a little bit longer so that we can complete this quest, but also check out this cave. Hello? Go ahead and zap you. Actually, it looks like I'm getting a two damage bonus from my skill. I'm hitting for nine instead of seven, like it says on the tooltip for the sword. Hmm more enemies. Ooh, that guy's pretty tough, too. Now let's go ahead and zap him up, get him with the stun, chop him up with the sword. Yeah, I think the lightning spell was what I was supposed to be leaning on, like, a lot more heavily. I was supposed to treat that thing like Sheena and lean. Lean on Sheena! I've always been kind of a punk rock guy. I don't know if you guys are into punk rock. I've always been, like, a pop punk slash punk rock guy. The only thing that ever sticks with me is, like, random music lyrics and references. Oh, there's some canned food. Nice. Apparently, it's vegan, long-lasting, and sealed. Ooh, it's one of the spinny boys. Hold on, we're going to have to use bullets on him. Otherwise, he's just... Oh, I accidentally cast my lightning spell. I didn't mean to. Oh, 
Okay. All right. There we go. Got him. Perfect. All right. We dropped him. We're okay. But those guys right there, they flat out like two shot you. So you've got to really, really be careful about how you engage with them. Uh, let's go ahead and we will puke real fast. There we go. Lots of booze. Oh, apparently I can only loot that one over there. The rest of these are empty. All right, fair enough. Got some wonder shrooms, though. Wonder shrooms! Where'd this other guy run off to? I gotta be careful about my ammo usage here. However, my shock lightning has infinite ammo as long as I'm kind of, like, careful with it. Okay, a bunch of crafting materials over here. We'll do our best to get those inside the old pockets of fury. I picked this character because he has a headband. His name is Cheekman. That's what I that's what I named my character, Cheekman. Is that one of the spinny guys or is that one of the explodey guys? That's one of the spinny guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was what happens when you try to kill one of those guys in melee. That was definitely the perfect example of how that tends to go. Anything to loot around here? What is this? Why does it look like there's like a blast mark over here? Huh. Suspicious. I don't know why it wants me to summon the flesh worm so badly. Like it really, with this tooltip, wants me to summon the flesh worm. Can I turn that off? This is also a good opportunity to look at the uh, settings. So we've got different difficulties. They can be swapped out freely as you play the game. There's also a permadeath mode. Inside here, we have automatic inventory, continue running gameplay when unfocused, uh, hotkey language overrides, apparently. We've also got exploding bodies. We've got resolution settings. V-Sync is available. Uh, Camera-wise, it says you can hard lock it on the character, or it'll zoom out when you're not in combat, so that's good. User interface-wise, it looks like you can adjust the size of the interface, which is actually pretty cool. I wish it was a little larger, so that works out great. It also looks like instead of a preset, you can customize it. You can also put the game in handheld mode in case you are playing on something like Steam Deck. You can also swap out the font, I guess, if you want to. And it looks like enemy health bars. We can also have their player health show a number. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Audio, pretty pretty standard right there. Input, uh, it looks like we can also mess around with various inputs on this side. Uh, it looks like we can have like automatic reloading. We can have like auto aim if you really, really want to. You can highlight stuff. Uh, there's also controller support. There's fully rekey bindable keys, which is great. And apparently, you can also do shared screen co-op if you want to, which is actually a pretty rad idea. Let's take this stuff on back. Apparently, there's just a dead guy with a chunk of, like, bicep or something laying next to him. Let's go back and turn in this quest and just kind of see if the rewards are any good. It really wants me to throw a flesh worm. I don't want to throw a flesh worm, but it wants me to throw a flesh worm, so... I just want the tooltip to go away. That's quite literally all I care about right there, was making the flashing tooltip go away. That's why I was checking the options to see if I could easily figure out how to do that, but... Now, from my recollection, I think the guy that was in the puking contest and needed the glibber was over here to the left. I think. Yeah, it's this guy. Ah, you brought me the stuff. Gross. And down with it. Alright, I'm ready. Come here. You sure you're not gonna cry when you lose, right? I'm not going to lose. Not bad, not bad. Look at this. About the same as mine, but that was just a warm-up. Here's the real deal. That's a lot. And why is there pink stuff in it? Anyways. That's nowhere near enough. Look at this. God, dude. I can't anymore. I give up. Really? Yep. Does this mean that I won? Congratulations. Finally, I'm so happy I could just... <laughs> Thanks, pal. Thanks to you, I could win that bet. I'll never do that again. Wait. I didn't get anything for that? Then you like, give me no money or nothing? I didn't really mean to throw that over there. It just kind of happened. Ow, it bit me.
All right, uh, T puts my weapon away. There we go. He won by his own rules, at least. Can you see how confident he looks now? You did well. Weren't you taunting him? Of course. He can't know I'm helping. Oh, you were helping him become better at being like a vomiter. Okay, you were training up a champion. I respect it. We only got 50 XP for that, but honestly, like, that's 12% of the level, so that's not too bad. The only other thing that I need to do is I need to go up north, and I need to... I need to go get the AI core from the bunker that's up there. But there's a really, really hard fight, like, in the first room, and I don't know if I can do it. Like, I, I don't know if I can handle the heat. Maybe if I can afford some more ammo or something, it might work out. So what does the booze sell for? 16? Yeah, sell it all. I need money right about now. That's kind of what I'm looking at. There's also canned food. I don't really need the canned food, so I guess I'll sell it. I don't need the club either, and it's worth 24, so that's an easy win. The sword is also an easy win. So that does get us to the point where we can buy the recipe for bullets. Applies damage bonus to any sharp melee weapon. Oh, really? Okay, well, let me get the bullets recipe first, because I think the pistol is actually kind of like a winner. Alright, so we've learned how to make normal pistol bullets now. It's still 5 and 5 to get 8 bullets. But we do have 21 pistol bullets now. Like, I think the pistol's got the best DPS so far, just due to the fact that it's got like a 4 magazine size. The shop does have a revolver that does 19 damage per shot, and has 6 in the magazine, and has better range than this gun. And so... It's got a slower firing rate, but it might work out. Like, it might be okay. Hard to say, though. Let's go up north to the bunker and just kind of see what happens there. I'm having a good time right now, so I don't mind cutting the video a little tiny bit longer. Uh, just to go see what the next challenge is that we have in front of us. So here we are at the bunker. Let's tuck on in. I don't know how this is going to go. I may die horribly, but we'll give it a try. Ow! I've been shooted. Oh, nice, dude. Okay, okay. I couldn't get through here before, but now we're in. Now we're in this. Possibly even to win this. Uh, we're going to want to take it easy on ammo for a little bit because... Apparently... Oh, he's got a gun. Hold on. Let's fall back around the corner real quick because I need to get my health back up. There we go. And then because I need to cast a whole bunch of lightning, we got to clear all the toxins out of our system. Oh, there's two of them in here. Oh, he's only got like a beat stick, though. And he's way faster than the mutant. Looks like we do have cleaving, too, which is really, really rad. So we've got a stick right there. We've got a little bit of meat. We've got some more booze and stuff. The stick was worth like... Oh, no, it was the spiky stick that was worth 24. That's what it was. Okay, so, like, what's up with you, man? Oh, you want to have, like, a crazy post-apocalyptic, like, six-string samurai sword fight? I'll sword fight you, bro. I'll sword fight you right now. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for this drama. I'm out here for the heat, bro. I'm stepping in these loafs. Oh, another person is coming to investigate. Oh, no. Oh, I have vomit. Oh, no. I've got the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, that was a close one. Almost got got. Almost had a rough day. Go ahead and give me some of that sweet healing. Oof, the two of them in there seem tough. Let's kind of rotate around for a minute. See if there's any, like, any loot around here? I don't even know if I'm going to get my loot. What is this? It's running and producing electricity. Okay, good. That means the bunker's online. We need lock picking in order to get into here. That's okay because I have lock picking. And what do we have? We got metal... We've got mechanics, we've got booze, and we've got gemstones. Very nice. I'll be honest with you, I didn't mean to hit the worms. The worms were kind of like a secondary effect of that engagement. Uh, you can break these containers here too. The game does have destructible environments. Just in case that sounds appealing to you, there's a cyan key. And what is this right here? Memorabilia. 5 XP 5 XP. I'll take it. All right, you're going to find random things around that basically teach you about the old world that used to exist. 
and it gives you XP for basically like staring at them and pondering the orb for a second. A little bit of health back. Get a nice little yak out of my system. Gather up that guy's meat. Metal and medical ingredients? The medical ingredients are worth a lot of money from what I recall. Yeah, I'm not in love with how this is going right now. Ow, she got a swing off. There we go, got her. I gotta learn to, like, read the enemy's swings a little bit better. Like, the game is hard, but it shouldn't be this hard. I feel like I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm just playing really, really remedially on top of the game also having a little bit of difficulty edge to it. Unfortunately, being good at video games has never been something that there's a hole in it. Somebody must have gutted the insides. Oh, I thought this was going to lead to something else. That guy's got a whooping stick. Oh no. Oh, she's got an energy weapon. It hurts so bad. We lived, but at what cost? Ooh, she had ammo for it too. Is the energy weapon any good? It does 12 damage? That's not bad got a little bit. It's almost got the same, well, okay, it doesn't have the same firing rate as the pistol, but like, it could with a little bit of loving, touching, squeezing. Let's see here. Curious when I mention the Titan's longing in her eyes. Refugee from the habitats, hard to prove. May be possessed. Have to be careful. Puppeteer, crafty, who taught him. Why would the collectors not recruit him? Huh, okay. Yeah, we'll memorize the note real fast, and then we'll just call it a day right here. So my name is Splattercat. Today we were playing a little bit of Death Trash, which in my opinion is a fantastically gross and unique game that is very much targeting sort of people that like punk rocky things that don't shy away from just grossness and nastiness and sort of like like bodily fluid humor, basically. Uh, that's like right up my wheelhouse, and so, you know. The game is, like, perfect for me. I don't know if it's perfect for other people, but I find the grossness funny because basically deep down, I'm like a 10-year-old that somehow ended up being in his mid-30s. And so I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. I don't really have any complaints about this game. Uh, I think the enemy... Like, I, I think that I'm just really, really bad at reading the telegraphs on the enemies is really what it comes down to. But everything so far from the art style to the writing to everything else are just great. And this truly stands as one of those very, very unique RPGs out there. It is in early access, so the game is not done, but the developer has been working and patching and doing his thing, and so it's on its way towards that direction. Uh, we covered it a year ago. We'll probably cover it in another year just to kind of see where we're at. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Death Trash. Tomorrow, we will very likely have something else. Thank you for sharing the luxury of your time with me, and I will see you all later.